Hey guys. Oop. Gotta turn off that. Sorry. I had my audio on too. Wow, it looks like my mic's real hot today. Let me bring it down just a tad. Check one, two. All right. So let's see. Got everything in order. Always uh, start a few minutes early. Uh, some of you have been in the chat room for a little bit, just kind of chatting away, talking about the goodie boxes and the graze boxes and all that stuff. It's all cool. Um, my neighbor's dog is barking and my window's open, so you know what? If uh, if it becomes a problem, I will just throw one of those special doggy treats <laughs> over the fence. Just kidding. <laughs> He'll only sleep for an hour. Mmm. Okay, so let's, uh, since the show's not officially started yet, I just want to talk about something kind of on the side. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if you guys know what Dunkin' Donuts is, but some of you that live in other countries may not have a Dunkin' Donuts. It's all over the United States. In every, I think it's in every state but California. Here's the thing with California. A lot of companies don't want to deal with California because the politics here is so bad and they do such taxing and gouging and mistreating and everything that, uh, you know, a lot of companies are like, forget it. We just won't go into California because they're just, they're just weird. I mean, you know, California does laws that like nobody else does, uh, or just New York and California laws. Those two states are kind of insane. So, uh, anyway, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, has stayed out of here kind of like, uh, what's the other place? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel's all over the U.S., right? And they're not in California anywhere, and they don't... They used to be, but they kind of pulled out, and who knows what the reasons are. But we just got a big headline that Dunkin' Donuts... And I'm not a donut guy, but I'm a coffee guy, and Dunkin' Donuts has really good coffee from what I've heard. I've never really had a chance to go into a Dunkin' Donuts and get a coffee, but my sister in New York, um, Phyllis... She's always like, oh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee is amazing. I get it all the time. So I would love a choice around my house. I have, let's see, uh, I have a Starbucks and a Starbucks and a Starbucks and then two more Starbucks over here. I have a Starbucks in, tar in Target and then across the street there's a Starbucks. Um, so I really don't always want to go to Starbucks and... Uh, not a huge fan of it, but there's, you know, they kind of own the own the corner in that. So uh, it'd be nice to have a Dunkin' Donuts. So I hear the headline, Dunkin' Donuts is coming to California. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, that's great. And you'll never guess, they're opening one in Barstow, California. And if you know the area, Barstow, California is about that big, okay? It's nowhere near me, and it's if I'm driving to Las Vegas, it's in the middle of the desert. So, like, you drive, 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 and then you hit Barstow, and then you drive, 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 then you hit Baker, and then you drive, 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 and then you hit Vegas. It's like, I mean, I, I get it, but I don't get it. It just freaks me out. It's like, really? That's where you're opening the first Dunkin' Donuts for California is way out in the middle of the desert? <laughs> okay, so in my mind, we still don't have a Dunkin' Donuts, but maybe that'll crack the ice. Maybe that guy will open, like, five more locations you should put one in the Inland Empire, one in L.A., one in Orange County, one in San Diego. Uh, spread the love, would you? So, we are almost official. Uh, good morning, everybody. I am ready. Oh, you have a Dunkin' Donuts in the U.K. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, Krispy Kreme, though. Ugh. Sorry. Krispy Kreme. Whoever ran Krispy Kreme ran it into the ground. I'll tell you this. Krispy Kreme Donuts they spread themselves too big too fast and i mean donuts are really really bad for you so it's it's like a once in a blue moon treat i thought if i had ran Krispy cream donuts i would have designed them more like a coffee house yeah got a crispy cream coffee house crispy cream remarket that brand you could have saved that brand and you didn't but you got to you can't concentrate on a big sugar dough greasy, deep-fried dessert, because we're not going to eat that every day, but we will drink coffee every day. So, oh, look, a little reminder, Veterans Day is tomorrow. <clears throat> I'll have to uh, make a list of people that I need to call and wish them a happy Veterans Day. So, uh, so anyway, Krispy Kreme totally, out here at least, they were like, in one day, well, like 
12 of them open and then like and then chick-fil-a's started buying the locations uh, out here they did pretty smart and uh, you guys know my little theory about starbucks and subway out here at least i can think of nine subways and within a rock's throw was a starbucks i don't know who copied who i think Subway's smart enough to go where there's Starbucks locations. You got to remember, there's there's like hundreds of thousands of dollars that go into research on where to put your next store, and so why not follow somebody who has the same clientele? Subway kind of has the same clientele as Starbucks, and it makes sense to have them close to each other. So when you're when you're in a Starbucks, eh, better yet, when you're in a Subway, look around. I mean, it'll be like in the same shopping area as a Starbucks. It'll be in the same across the street from a Starbucks. It won't be that far off. It'll be really close to it. I found that quite interesting, and <clears throat> I would say the past. And now, if you have a Starbucks that's been around like for 10 years, I, I can't guarantee a subway will be there, but check it out. It's kind of funny. All right, so their Dunkin' Donuts is international. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, they do sell Dunkin' Donuts coffee at my grocery store, uh, but it doesn't... From what I hear, it's making taking their beans and making it home isn't the same as walking in and getting their coffee. Uh, it's like, have you ever done Frank's Red Hot? Okay, if you buy the little bottle of Frank's Red Hot, it's different than the big giant Frank's Red Hot. Okay? Be real careful when you buy bulk items. They can be manufactured at a different location, and the recipe could taste different. And I kind of think, you know, you bring home Dunkin' Donuts beans, it's not the same as... How they brew it in the stores. I mean, that's what I've heard. Uh, Krispy Kreme are addictive. No, sugar. <laughs> Sugar's addictive. <laughs> that's what it is. The next uh, city over had a Krispy Kreme where you could watch them cook. It was a child's dream. I get it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that is kind of cool. I like to see them make things. It's kind of fun. All right. I can make a mean beer can chicken. Hey, what's up, Jack? All right. Cole keeps the lights on. How are you? Everybody here? There was a rapper on YouTube named Krispy Kreme. Uh, yeah, I think I remember that person. And let's see, I'm currently sipping on a very strong espresso. Oh boy. So be ready. is always going to be chiming in soon, uncontrollably. All right, so let's get on some topics. Um, you guys uh, who follow me on social media, if you don't follow me on social media, uh, friend me on Facebook, uh, join me on Google Plus, or you know, follow me on Twitter. We'll... Uh, You'll get updates up to the minute, what I'm doing, uh, what I'm filming. I give you sneak peeks and everything. Like, for example, let me show you what uh, what we're working. Oh, football picks. Let me do football picks first. I always do football picks first. Let's get that out of the way. Real quick, football picks right here. Uh, that's why we moved our show to 9 a.m. so that you guys could watch football. Here are my picks. I'm going with the Broncos over the Chargers. i got to give up seven points, minus seven. I'm doing the Cowboys, my Cowboys. Go, guys. And I'm getting seven points. The Saints are favored because they're at home. So I get Cowboys and seven points. I'm taking the Bucks over the Dolphins. Poor Dolphins are a mess this week because of all the controversy. Um, I get the Bucks in three. And I don't know if you know about that new guy who's quarterback, and I don't remember his name, but <clears throat> excuse me, he, he stays in the pocket. That guy's calm. He's really cool, and I like I like watching him. Then we got the Lions over the Bears. That was a pick. There's no point spread on that game, at least when I placed my bet. Uh, and if you want to know where I placed my bets, private message me. Do not. I'm not going to post it publicly because it's not really something that the United States appreciates. So anyway, uh, Lions and Bears, no, no line. Panthers, Niners. I took the 49ers, giving up six and a half points, and then the Raiders. I'm um, taking seven and a half points over the Giants. I don't know what the Giants are doing this year. I feel bad for them. Because they're like my number two favorite team. But when it comes to money, I'm going with the Raiders. There you go. All right. If you didn't get that, this video will be up later. And you can take a look at it. Okay, so I've been in turkey heaven over the past week, week and a half. Oh, my mouth's watering. Look, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Uh, I did the parchment turkey. And I did, the, uh, I did all three of my turkey videos. They're all done. I've already edited two of them. Um... I did the parchment turkey, and uh, I did just, on Friday, I did the smoked turkey at Johnny's house. Then I went to my buddy Lou's house, and at Lou's house, we did the trash can, 
That was crazy. Let me show you a picture of that. Let me see if I can find it. The trash can turkey. It's where you cook a turkey under a trash can. Um, let's go to my Facebook page real quick. It, it was... <clears throat> it, it got a little out of control. And I'll show you why in a second. All right, what is that? One, four, six. Okay, let me load in that picture for you. And you can see, this is the shot when we started. Um, add a picture. Do ba do ba do. Is that it? Nope, is that it? Where are you? Ugh, one, four, six. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is what it looked like. <laughs> We, uh, I can tell you this, you're going to want to see this video because the bird did not turn out exactly how we wanted it to turn out. <laughs> we had the best time doing it. It was great. Ah, oh, is that a great shot? I love that. And then, um, what you can't see on top of the trash can, there's, we place coals on top of the trash can too and lit those on fire. So this 14 pound turkey we cooked in an hour uh, in less than 90 minutes. We cooked it in 80 minutes. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. And I had, we had fire extinguishers standing by. Uh, serious. It was, it was, it was awesome. We had so much fun. We laughed. Uh, we lit the grass on fire on accident. That was kind of fun. Um, so, and then we had, I think he had some red ants in the backyard that were not happy at all that we were lighting the backyard on fire. So, that's always fun. Um, and then, uh, the smoked turkey, let me show you my smoked turkey. These are all sneak peeks because you're watching the live show. Uh, the smoked turkey. Now look at this. This is at Johnny's house. It was on Friday afternoon. Look at that. Is that amazing? That video, I show you all the steps, what we did for it. We, obviously it's butterflied and we smoked it for two and a half hours at 325. I think it is. And it's all in the video. So you'll see it all in its glory. We're going to cut into it. And you're going to see how it turned out. It's just, what a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, man. I am now starving on a Sunday morning. I just want to go make a turkey sandwich. So I had turkey two days in a row. Uh, on Friday, we did turkey, a full-on turkey dinner. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. And we, we just, because we were filming anyway, so a whole bunch of families came together. And we brought side dishes, and we made the turkey. And then on Saturday, we made turkey slider, um, turkey hoagies, and Lou rocked it. Wait, do you see that video? Oh my god! I can't wait. All right, <laughs> I love food. It's awesome. Um, okay, so let me get to my list here. I'm drooling now. Look at that. Uh, you tried to deep, uh, deep fat fry a turkey in a trash can, didn't you? No, I didn't. It was upside down. We we used it like hot box. It was dry. Uh, it was, there was no oil involved at all. So we cooked it inside a trash can at a high heat. We had a steak. You'll see the whole video. It's pretty cool. Um, and you'll see if it dried out and, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, okay. So Jack says, uh, I am a 15 year old and I want to surprise my family with an easy Thanksgiving dinner. Any suggestions? Uh, I have a video already up right now. Um, you can do the parchment turkey that I showed you. Uh, there's a lot of turkey suggestions, all right? So number one, if you're gonna, if you're young and you're starting out, just roast it in the oven. Cook in the oven. Uh, I recommend parchment paper over anything in the oven. Uh, the best, and you'll see it in my video. It's coming out next week or this coming week. So parchment paper did the best job cooking. I've done foil. I've done plastic, the you know, turkey bags. Uh, and I've done parchment paper, okay? Just remember, Jack, uh, make sure your parents give a big thumbs up. It's okay. Make sure they're there in case you need them. And make sure to wear, don't use pot holders. Get the mitts. Get the mitts to come up to here. Because when you're putting the turkey in and out or you're checking it or you're cutting it open to brown it, um, you will hit the side of your arm on the oven. It's going to burn. So all I care about is your safety. But that's the easiest method, okay? Number two. Uh, all, you know, put your, if you're going to put butter or chili rub or whatever seasonings you want, put it under the skin. You can lift the skin with your hand, just slide your fingers under the, under the breast skin. Um, my mother-in-law puts chunks of real butter in there 
so the butter just goes right into the breast meat. Uh, Johnny put in uh, kosher salt and let it sit overnight, and the salt reacts with the proteins and makes it tender. Uh, so you can do whatever you want under, you can put sprigs of thyme in, in there if you want, or you can just put diced up thyme in there, whatever your heart desires. And then the outside, if you're going to do the outside of the bird, uh, olive oil, the outside, just a little bit of oil, all the seasoning will stick to it and it'll make like an outer crust. So take a look at my Thanksgiving videos on my channel. There's a whole bunch of side dishes, easy to make. Um, I also have a roasted butternut squash video coming up and that that was amazing. I brought that to the Thanksgiving dinner because it came out so good. It was sweet uh, with a little molasses, a little balsamic. Wait to see that video. So much good stuff, guys, coming in the next week, week and a half. So don't miss the Cooking with Jack show. This is the best time of the year to watch. Uh, let's see. Whoops. What is this? Huh. My little program just talked to me. Sorry. I don't know what it's what it's doing, and I don't care. We're moving on. The reason I thought you did was because of the huge fire. No, we were using uh, lighter fuel, lighter fluid, uh, and the coals were hot already, and we just sprayed it, and whoo, we wanted to get those coals going. Uh, we kind of got it going a little too much. That's where the problem happened, but you'll see it in the video. Uh, yeah, fried turkey and peanut oil. Also, if you get corn oil, it's less expensive than peanut oil. If you're deep frying your turkey... Corn oil is less expensive. Make sure when you go, like you go to Smart Final or, or wherever you get it, it should say odorless. Corn oil is odorless, okay? And it's just, it's is good. And peanut and corn oil are biodegradable, so if you want to pour it, you know, on the ground somewhere, it'll go right into the earth and it's totally safe. That, that's what's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Nice, because there are about a million videos on YouTube about how to deep fry. Yeah. Yeah, Zach, we want... And next year, I don't even, I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try and do something. I don't even know what I'm doing next year. I've done deep fried. I've done roasted. I've done deep fried inside and outside. I got to come up with something new. And when I heard this trash can turkey for my butcher, I'm like, what? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, butterflying the turkey... Uh, if you see in our video, we show you how to butterfly the turkey. Basically, just take your kitchen shears right down the backbone, right down the like the whole vertebrae, and just cut both sides. When you get to the end, just take a, just cut it right out. Just take the whole back strip out, and then flip it over right between the breasts. Just push like you're doing like CPR, and just crack that in half. That's it. And then tie the legs together, and don't forget to tuck the wings under. If you're going to like barbecue it or grill it or smoke it, tuck your wings under because the wing tips will burn. All right. You'll see it all in the video. Johnny shows it perfect. He's so cool. All right. So let's start talking about um, uh, toys in the kitchen. Toys in the kitchen is becoming, uh, I've done two of them already. And it seems to be best around Christmas time. And it gives you guys some great ideas. So I'm doing a Christmas video that will air the beginning of December called Toys in the Kitchen, and I've got a whole bunch. I ordered stuff from Bat19. I ordered stuff from QVC, and I went to the store and ordered stuff. And I have a, I have a box of just like, I think, eight or ten different items, toys for the kitchen, that we're going to look at. I don't know if they work, um, but they're kind of great ideas. If you're looking for somebody who's a foodie, uh, let, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you each one, and we're going to try them out. So, uh, some really exciting stuff. Everything from the barbecue to the kitchen, uh, it's gonna, there's gonna be some cool stuff going on. So, look for Toys in the Kitchen. That's my Christmas episode. And that ought to be fun. It'll be, it should be a long episode, so be ready. Uh, let's see here. What else on my list here? January Food Wars. Now, as you guys know, now, I'm gonna just be honest with you. I haven't had red meat, uh, for four weeks. So all I'm eating right now is poultry and seafood, and I've cut out red meat. I know I said I was only doing it in January, but I started early. I'm trying to get as much time in as possible, not eating pork and not eating uh, beef, and uh, because I want to see how that affects my cholesterol. I'm eating normal, everything else, salads, and you know, last night I had I went to Baja Fresh and had a chicken Caesar wrap, and so I'm eating normal food. Uh, I'm eating potatoes and pasta and pretty much whatever. I'm not eating a lot, but I cut out all that. And 
there is something changing, and I'm, I'm not going to get too in, involved in describing it, but basically, uh, up here in my upper section here, it used to bulge out all the time. I mean, my whole, <laughs> kidding, I'm always bulging out. But <clears throat> it used to be like rock hard, and and it was like a, like a muscle. Anyway, it seems to be depleting and going away up up high in my stomach area. And I don't know what's going on. I'm not claiming to lose weight. I'm not claiming. But I will tell you this. Since I stopped eating pork and I stopped eating red meat, I sleep better. I'm dreaming more. And I'm more rested. So when I wake up in the morning, nothing hurts. There's no pains like for my diabetes or anything. Uh, I can tell you that so far. And that's only four weeks in. I'm going all the way to February. So January Food Wars is going to... Both my shows are going to change for January. I know a lot of you are all bent out of shape that I'm going vegetarian videos just for January. But you know what? Hey, I got vegetarians that watch my show. And you guys, these are there's some of them are going to be side dishes. You can put them next to meat if you want. Put it next to meat. But there'll be no meat recipes. Uh, I'm doing all vegetarian dishes. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, especially after the holidays. You guys pig out on the holidays. You're going to love these videos. They're going to be awesome. They're going to be stuff I want to make. So you know it's going to taste good. So, uh, so anyway, so we're going to do, uh, veg not vegan. We're just doing vegetarian. So there may be butter involved. There may be dairy involved. Uh, I'm not watching out for vegan rules, but vegetarian, it's going to be all, uh, all good stuff. So be ready for that. Food wars. Let's talk about the changes in food wars. Burger wars is going to become turkey burger wars for January. And pizza wars, we're doing barbecue chicken pizza wars. We're starting it in January. Uh, so we're going to go find the best barbecue chicken pizza out there. So we're doing like a mini series in each one of those. And then Taco Wars won't change because uh, my buddy Rick, which uh, I haven't filmed with him in a while, and I apologize, guys. He's been real busy with his salsa company because he's inside supermarkets. So he has his own line of products. But uh, I'll do chicken tacos, and he'll do like carne asada or whatever. And we'll rate the place still that won't change Taco Wars. So January is going to be a healthy month. Join me uh, if you want. Some people have already stopped eating red meat and pork to see how they could do and see how they felt. Um, it's just an experiment that I'm doing. You can join me if you want. If not, just I'll give you the honest results. I'll let you know in February how much weight I lost. Uh, I'll let you know my cholesterol numbers from beginning to end. Uh, I've already got the results through in the kitchen. Um, I have the results from my blood test before I started. So... Uh, I'm trying to prove or disprove this theory of eating pork and red meat. All right, let's get back on track here. Let's see what you guys got in the comment section here. Uh, no tofu, I promise. There'll be no tofu. I don't do tofu. I, I do tofu, but I would never put it on my shell. Uh, it's, there's, there's other options. Uh, I lost over 150 pounds doing intermittent fasting. Uh, yeah, I can't comment on fasting. I'm not... I'm not a guy who diets. I do not believe in diets. I believe in just eating better and exercise. It always comes down to that. Eating better and exercising. Oh, we're doing good on time. Uh, so I don't use the word diet in my life at all. Uh, I just need to eat better and exercise. So my wife and I, uh, one of the best things that my wife and I do is walk after dinner. We usually eat dinner either 5 or 6 o'clock. And then we go for a walk. We walk the neighborhood. We'll take the dog because that, that Mrs. Chubbs needs to burn off some fat too. So uh, we'll take Cupcake with us and we'll walk the dog. We won't walk the dog. We'll walk Jack Jr. sometimes, put him on a leash. Um, but it's really cool because there's no phones in our hands. There's no internet. There's no nothing. When my wife and I are walking, we're talking. So not only is it good for our marriage... Uh, we really bond more. We talk about the future. We talk about the past. We talk about possibilities. Uh, we talk about what we love to do. And we just, it's just an awesome time together. So not only do you get bonding time with your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whatever, you, uh, you get to uh, really make it special. So you get exercise and a special time. All right, so let's see. Anyone who wants to buy plain Polaroid film, what are you, selling stuff on my show? <laughs> okay. Uh, Jack Jr. is literally right behind you. Um, 
that must have happened already. I don't pay attention. If he came in, he came in. I don't. I don't know. But uh, I never eat red meat. Okay, so Kelly, uh, you're already not eating red meat. Cool. Uh, Jack, do you still do P90X? Um, Carl the uh, Minion is asking about P90X. I did a full one series of P90X, and P90X is a great program, great exercise, great, great workout. Almost everybody can do it, unless you're a size that makes you handicapped from bending over or sitting down on the ground or whatever. Uh, I'm very sensitive to uh, people who are overweight. Uh, I understand. I think I think all exercise programs are made for healthy people. I don't think they're made for people like us because as soon as a, an exercise video tells me to do something that I physically can't do because my stomach's in the way, somebody wasn't thinking. So I really think there should be a series done by a heavy person. I think it should. And then in that series, I've always wanted to get together with uh, some of my friends that do fitness. I think, unfortunately, the fitness people don't realize what we need. We need to start out slow. We need to start out. We, we can't do certain things, and you need to know that. And there are certain things we can do. So the whole exercise, maybe I'll do my own exercise program. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll do my own exercise videos. I'll do a whole channel. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is so great, Jack. I haven't had red meat in eight months. Wow. You won't miss it that much. I have to tell you this. The only time I've had red meat is the half a burger that I eat on Burger Wars right now. It's the only time I did it. The last one I had, I almost got sick. I don't know why. I was off red meat for like two, three weeks. And it made me afterwards. My body didn't like it much. So that was kind of weird. That kind of freaked me out. Because I'm a, I'm a big beef guy. So uh, I, I know the food wasn't bad. It's a very reputable place. And you'll see that video. So until January, I will have that half patty uh, with... Uh, oh, let me show you. Speaking of burgers. <clears throat> Just came out, if you guys saw my video, a place, uh, 5050, Slater's 5050, has a thing called a Thanksgiving burger. No lie, they just, they, I think they did it last year, and it's now available at Slater's 5050. You can make it yourself. Uh, let me show you the picture. There it is. That's the Slater's 5050 Thanksgiving burger, and everything is on there. I think stuffing's on there, cranberry sauce is on there. Uh, the the turkey patty that's turkey and I'm guessing there's some gravy on there and it's all there and it's huge and it's a Thanksgiving dinner in a bun and it's called the Thanksgiving burger and Joe Chavez and I are going after it we're just gonna review it we're not gonna put it in Burger Wars uh, but it will be on the Jack on the Go show and I've got to get together with Joe as soon as possible uh, that thing just came back to Slater so we're going to go attack that turkey burger. <laughs> All right. Uh, has it been hard for you not eating the red meat? Uh, frazzled, it has not been hard. I've been doing, because I'm doing all the turkey right now, and there's leftover turkey, and, the, and then I do chicken, and I, I've been doing shrimp, and, and you know, it, it's, it's, not, it's not as hard as I thought. It really wasn't. There's so much to choose from. Uh, there's always options. So instead of getting a burger, I go to Chick-fil-A and get a chicken sandwich. Or, you know, it's, it's an easy switch for me. Uh, toy, toys and Owls Toy Barn. Okay, now I don't know what... what I'm guessing uh, Zombie Dust is referring to me looking like Al from Owls Toy Barn in Toy Story 2. I don't know. I think they stole my whole likeness. The only thing I'm missing is the Cheeto-flavored fingertips. So no Burger Wars. Oh, no, all the Food Wars. <laughs> Why do I have to create a channel to comment? Hey, I love your username. That's awesome. All right, well, here's a great segue. Why do I have to create a channel to comment? So no Burger Wars, Pizza Wars, Taco Wars. Let's go to YouTube. Let's talk about YouTube right now because you guys are whining and complaining and all that stuff. And I'm not knocking this, this person. Why do I have to create a channel to comment? He, he or she just reminded me of what I wanted to talk about. So I'll tell you right now. YouTube's cre doing a few things. They're trying to bring Google Plus and YouTube together. Okay? So that your comments... I know what they're trying to do. There's a bunch of things they're trying to do. So first of all, they're trying to get more people to use Google Plus. Let's call it like it is. They're, they're tired of waiting for people to use Google Plus. 
So they're forcing people to use Google+. If I own Google, I don't know if I'd do it this way, but I would encourage it. I would create, you know, maybe I would do it this way. You guys might too. So first of all, number one, calm down, okay? It's a free service. You're on YouTube your whole life. You watch shows all the time. It's your replacement. It's, it is your entertainment. So just deal with the changes and bounce with it because you're not going to change it by complaining. It's just not going to happen. They're definitely merging the two. Uh, they want them fully integrated. So your comments will show up on the Google Plus page and your comments will show up on YouTube. Number two, the best part of this change is for us YouTubers because we can filter out threatening comments. We can fill vulgar comments. We now can filter the comment section so that you're not going to see, like on this family program, you won't see cur the harsh curse words. I didn't block all the curse words. You know, if you want to say, damn, that looks good. Okay, you can say, damn, that looks good. Uh, you know, uh, hey, Jack, do you think you're going to hell? You know, that kind of <laughs> you can write that if you want. But the really harsh words I've, I've blocked. And what happens is, if you post that, it'll post, but nobody will see it, and it goes into a review section where I just delete them all. Okay, so uh, for three years I've asked YouTube for filtering because I've had people who say, I hope you die from diabetes. So I blocked that. Um, so I can do phrases and I can do words and I love it. Thank you, YouTube. Three years of begging you. And by the way, I'm going to YouTube uh, this coming week. Thursday I'm going to be at YouTube Studios again. Uh, they're going to show me new stuff, stuff that's coming in the future for YouTube. I can't tell you about it because I have to sign a waiver. Uh, but uh, they usually call me and, you know, there's a bunch of YouTubers that get asked to come into the studios and, and look at some new stuff and give our opinions and how we'd make it better or how we'd make it worse or would we use it at all if they created it. So it's going to be fun. So bottom line is this. Accept what's going on. Uh, yeah, that Robert, I'm talking about uh, the Google Plus issue right now. It's just, just deal with it. You know what? Everybody's used YouTube for 10 years. Okay, yeah, there's a commercial, and then you get your video. It's just the way it is. I mean, you know, we're, we're all busting our butts. I'm putting up five videos a week. Do you know how much time I spend on YouTube producing content for you guys? It's all the time, and sometimes it takes away from my family life. Sometimes it takes away. I don't get to play games as much as my son does because I'm, I'm editing videos and uploading videos and filming videos and scheduling videos and shopping for videos and researching for videos, and I'm still screwing up on my videos. So... <clears throat> realize these things realize that this, this stuff is free it's pretty much free I mean uh, once you get past the ad you're, you're home free so so just appreciate YouTube and roll with it and you can voice your opinion but you know what don't let it ruin your day it, it is what it is you still have an account you still get to be a part of the whole process you guys can create your own channels and do whatever your heart desires there are people who make a living on this and that's awesome. YouTube gives, and every one of you has the ability to use your phone. I do Jack on the Go all on my phone. The whole thing. That's all I use for Jack on the Go is my, my phone. Every, almost everybody I know that's watching right now has a phone. Appreciate it. Be thankful. It's Thanksgiving. Be thankful. Okay? I know it's kind of clunky. It always is. Every time YouTube makes a change, it's clunky. Just roll with it. Don't get all, don't get all pissy. It's just, you know, it's not going to, that's not going to change anything. So, and you, you saying, I'm never going to go on YouTube again is a total lie. You know, a week later, you'll be on YouTube again. You know, Toby Turner will put out a new video and you'll be watching. Epic Mealtime will blow something up or drive through McDonald's and buy everything and you'll be watching. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Just let it go. Just roll with it. Um, YouTube always puts it out there and then starts to fine tune it and make it better. Okay, so just give them some time. Relax. Your videos did not go off. They're still there. You can still get to them. The comment section, I think, is going to be better when they're finally done mastering it. Um, and it's and if you knew how big YouTube is worldwide, this is a tough thing for their IT department. It's not easy to roll stuff out to the size that they are. So give them some time, okay? Don't get so upset over it. Uh, just if you've got them open a Google Plus account, open a Google Plus account. Got to open a YouTube account, open another YouTube account. Whatever it is, um, just kind of, kind of go with it. 
Uh, I wouldn't do too much yet until, unless you have to, uh, until the kinks are worked out. But the filtering, thank you, YouTube. That's that's the biggest Christmas gift I could get from, from YouTube this year. All right, back to food. Uh, I already talked. Oh, Gray's Box, Goodie Box, and Love with Food. Let me let me just check real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Good old British crab. Jack is laying down some truth. Oh, cool. Thanks, you guys. How did I get signed? How did see? I just got signed out of. I just got signed out of YouTube. I, I'm. I just refreshed my. <laughs> I just refreshed my comment section, and got signed out. See, there's glitches. So what am I doing? I'm bouncing with it. All right. So now I'm back in, signed in, and I can see your comments again. Um, okay. So let's talk about the boxes. I I didn't do the October goodie box. It's in my kitchen right now. I promise you, in the next week. You will see that. I'll throw it in on a day that I don't normally do videos, maybe Thursday, okay? Uh, it's the last goodie box. I've been holding on to it. And on November 15th, November 15th, I'm getting my Love with Food box. And I bought the deluxe one. So let's talk. Goodie box is done. I have the last one in my kitchen. Some of you know what's in it. Some of you don't. I promise you that I'll show you the last one. Uh, the Gray's box. The Gray's box was a little bit of nothing. I didn't like it. It was like eating dirt. So it was like grainy, nutty, pretzely. It was just, it just no substance. Um, they had, you know, it's like, let's take bland food. We'll throw a little seasoning flavor on it and we'll put it in a box and send it to you. And they only sent me four items. So I canceled that subscription. A lot of you want to know if I'm still subscribed to Grace. I'm not doing Grace.com. Vegans, vegetarians, pff, you'll love that place, you know, but the rest of you will be bored. I got bored off the first box. I was amazed. The box was this thin. I'm like, what is up with that? I mean, how, how often can you eat raisins, nuts, and pretzels? You know, that's about all it is. So, uh, and the word graze, I felt like I was, you know, grazing like a cow here. So, anyway, um, so so I got rid of that. And then Love With Food is, you. they have $10 boxes. I will show you those videos as soon as they arrive. $10 boxes. And then when you buy a box, it comes to your house, a child is fed. One hot meal goes to a child. Okay, so they pay to feed a child when you buy one of the boxes. I bought the deluxe box because I'm doing the show. You don't have to go deluxe. I bought the bigger box that they offer, which has more treats inside. Uh, it's $20 a month, but my show pays for it. So I, you know, I take whatever money I earn and put it back into the show. And so it's $20 a month, and that beats two kids. It's $10 one. I, I chose the two kid meal, and every month I get a box. Two kids are being fed, so uh, it's really cool. And I might even start donating part of my proceeds of YouTube to that organization. I haven't decided yet. I'm I'm seeing how the how the organization is. I'm still doing my homework because you know me. I'm all about feeding people. So check it out. Lovewithfood.com. That's where I'm going on the show next. Uh, Grays. I'm not knocking Grays. I just wasn't turned on by it. I wasn't excited about what they sent me the first time, and I don't want to pay for any more. And then goodie boxes are done. So there's a, kind of a wrap-up. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you about Raptastic. I noticed you were using Stater Brothers Plastic Wrap, which I assume is a store brand. Have you ever used a higher quality plastic wrap? You know, that's a good... Adam Fitzpatrick is asking me about... I had I had some issues with the plastic wrap not cutting all the way. Uh, maybe I was using a cheaper brand. But I do... Uh, Adam, here's, here's the thing. Uh, everybody told me that there was a better one online, a better, better than Raptastic online, okay? Uh, that was a better machine that we cut and all that. So I ordered it, and I'm going to be showing you guys that uh, around the holidays, so you can see that. I might even toys in the kitchen. I may even put in my toys in the kitchen episode, depending on how much stuff I have. I may give it its own episode. So Raptastic worked enough, but it was kind of clunky. But I wouldn't call it a failure. It still cut the plastic, but it went spring back open. So you have to just manually... Oh, that was tough. So I didn't really want to knock it. It did what it was supposed to do or claimed to do. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my foil in because it was either too long or it just didn't fit. So anyway, there you go uh, there, Adam. Be looking for the new. There's a new plastic wrap. I will get a higher quality plastic wrap for that episode, I promise. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Jack, how do you feel about the Richie Incognito slash Dolphins bullying going on? Uh, two things. Um, if there's bullying going on anywhere in the world, it should be stopped. 
Uh, I'm over it. We all been bullied one way or another. Unless we were a bully, you're either were a bully, or you are a bully. One or the other, and it needs to stop. It all needs to stop. I hate, I hate bullying. I can't stand it. Jack Jr. will get in between a bully and a kid. He just won't put up with it. Jack Jr. just isn't afraid of anybody. It's weird. Me, I was the opposite. I was a big wuss. I used to eat my lunch in the in the library. I used to be like part of the chess club and computer club. Computer club. We we had one computer at my high school. That's how long long it was. So uh, stand up, stand against bullying. Uh, this this issue here, the media is ridiculous. Thank you, media, for throwing fuel on a already fire that's burning. Okay, um, I think you guys totally raped the issue. Uh, I think you just used it because there was no other hot topic. ESPN spent way too much time on this. Publicize it. Let the NFL deal with it. Give us the results. And then we'll voice our opinion. It's that simple. But the media can't help itself. The media has to totally chew it up and vomit it for the next 15 days. So that's why I don't watch the news. I do not watch the news. And when the third time I saw it on ESPN, I stopped watching Sports Center. So I won't watch that for a while. But that's my opinion on what's going on. Yes, bullying should be immediately dealt with harshly. It's unacceptable, period. And don't tell me, oh, I accidentally did it, or I was joking around, or, yeah, there's proof. So, that's my opinion. Uh, i got to start wrapping this up. Let me see. I don't have a phone, sob, sob. Ah, Zach, I am so sorry, dude. Um, You know, what I recommend is save up for it, or grab a... I used to do my Jack on the Go in the beginning, early years, on one of those little Nanos. I mean, do whatever you got to do to videotape if you want to do your own channel. Uh, let's see. I just thought this username was epic. Yeah, the username is epic. I love it. Why do I have to create a channel to comment is an epic username. Dude, you have to get behind over. You have to get your behind over to the UK. I can't afford to fly to London. I, I don't. I mean, you know, I, I'm very blessed. I have 80,000 subscribers. Been watched over 17 million times. Um, I make money off of YouTube to pay my bills, you know, to survive and take care of the family. And that's about it. And my wife has to have a job too. So, uh, there isn't like, and a lot of my money goes back into the show to pay for food, to pay for, you know, SD cards and, and gas and whatever, you know, any costs involved in making the show, my Google money or my YouTube money goes back into it. So, uh, I'm not one who's able to retire on what I what I do so the UK is gonna have to wait until till I hit it until I, I get bigger and until I can afford it I will pay for my own ticket to go to the UK I do not need anybody to pay for me I will I wanna I like paying from all my own stuff I don't want any you know that your my everybody's money needs to stay there I'm not gonna do a Kickstarter put it that way uh, I'm completely against YouTube Kickstarters Unless they're for a charitable reason, but most of the time it's for, you know, uh, uh, for example, let's take a YouTuber who's doing a Kickstarter. Hey, I want to travel. Uh, I want to go see all my fans. Great, reach in your pocket and see all your fans. Why should your fans have to pay for that? Right? Never understood that. Um, hey, I want to do this movie, and uh, and I need money from you. I'm doing a YouTube documentary on me. Uh, okay, why do the viewers have to pay for that? Because all you're going to do is take the money from the viewers, make a documentary about yourself, and then sell it to the viewers. Or sell it to other people. You may give it to, to the investors for free, but you're going to make money off that. I think if I'm going to give you money for your Kickstarter, I should own part of that project. And every DVD you sell, I should get it up. Pennies, I don't care. But it's all wrong. I don't, I, I haven't seen a good YouTube Kickstarter yet. If you guys... Uh, with a YouTuber, it's all, my son did the Toby Turner Kickstarter. I'm going to totally rant on this. He was supposed to get all his stuff. Toby Turner's coming out with a video game, okay? I begged him not to do it. Don't give him money. He loves Toby Turner, but and I love my son. So I'm like, okay, it's your money. You've saved this money up. It was like $80 he gave to Toby Turner's Kickstarter, and... And he was supposed to get all the stuff that came with his package that he promised. The poster and the digital game and everything, the download and all that. A whole bunch of stuff. Only the poster arrived. And that arrived a month late. It arrived in September. 
what what is it november now it was supposed to be in august that's right it was promised to be released in august and everybody was going to get their stuff my son stopped looking for it in the mail he's just given up uh don't get me started i'm not a big fan of kickstarter but i think it has its place i love i love the concept of kickstarter but when you put a youtuber with kickstarter it's usually self-gratifying sorry uh that's that's just me uh let's see i've never had ads on youtube not that I'm complaining, laugh aloud. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, Indian food, yes, that would rock. Oh, yeah. I, I like Indian flavors. I like Mediterranean flavors. I love there's so much food I like. So many countries I would love to visit and just get the real deal. I don't want to have to make it here. I would love to go just go there and taste it. All right. I think that's it. Uh, did I cover everything? Football, turkey, toys in there. Oh, Battlefield 4. My son, Jack Jr., plays online Battlefield 4 more than he does his call, new Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, he really likes the multiplayer on Battlefield 4 uh, somewhat better than Call of Duty. And that's a shock because he's been a Call of Duty fan for many years. Just thought I'd throw that out there. PS4, um, that's coming out. Be looking for that. I'm going to be getting my unit soon. Uh, I already have... I haven't even played Call of Duty because I got the PS4 version. See? So it's just sitting here in the wrapper. So I will play that. I'm not so much a multiplayer guy, but I might be coming soon when the PS4 comes out. So I will give you my name, uh, my username on PS4 as soon as the unit comes out. We can all hook up, and I'll try and play more. I'm I'm Friday night guy, so I do all my gaming on Friday nights. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see. Let me just give one. Uh, oh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all the comments right now once I sign off. I don't leave you. I will be here for a few more minutes in the comment section with you. Okay, I want to go through and make sure everybody got their questions answered. This is about you. This is why I do live shows, answer your questions. So I'm going to go through it right now. Uh, have fun watching football. Uh, more, Be looking for all these turkey videos and side dishes. <sighs> Favorite time of year. And I think that's it. If you want to post a quick question right now, uh, once again, I'm going to go through it all. Uh, post it right now. And I will, uh, I will see you next Sunday, 9 a.m., California time. All right, we do it every Sunday. Uh, usually if I'm on the road and I can get a good internet connection, we'll do it then too. So until then, I love you guys. God bless. Take care.